Who's to say we don't live inside a vast black hole? That the whole universe isn't inside one right now, inside another universe. Think about it for too long and your mind reels. Sometimes it feels like the more we see, the less we know. But we do know our galaxy is more complex and more dangerous than we ever imagined. And we're still in our own galaxy, the Milky Way. The vastness of the universe beyond still lies ahead. The wonders, the dangers, the secrets, they're out there. But first, we've got to find a way out of the Milky Way. Seven thousand light years from home, still deep inside our own galaxy. It's as though we're in a forest thick with trees, each so beautiful, so fascinating, it's impossible to look beyond, to see the bigger picture. We have to find a way through, reach the clearing at the galaxy's edge. Only then can we begin to understand where it and we all began. But faced with sights like this, it's hard to leave. A colossal glowing cloud topped by these great towers of dust. The pillars of creation. Like a gateway into the far galaxy. Both pillars studded with tiny protrusions. Embryonic star systems. Each one the size of our solar system. Another monument to nature's astonishing creativity. We have to ignore its captivating beauty, its siren song, tear ourselves away in order to carry onwards towards the edge of the galaxy. Dazzled by the Milky Way's beauty, we've been blinded to its terrors and strayed into a cosmic minefield. Like an explosion in slow motion, giant clouds of gas are bursting out of this star. A massive star, millions of times brighter than our sun. It's going into meltdown. The fuel that sustains it is running out. The nuclear reactions that power it, winding down. We're watching its death throes. Eventually, the core will implode. The result? A new black hole. An even bigger, dangerously unstable star. But this one's about to explode. And when a star this big dies, it's a hundred times more violent than a supernova. Somehow we've stumbled into the most violent star death imaginable. A hypernova. cores collapsed. It's becoming a black hole. And that's the shockwave, surging through the star, ripping its outer layers into space. There's lethal radiation everywhere, enough to have a catastrophic effect on any planet unlucky enough to be nearby. When virtually every species on Earth was wiped out 450 million years ago, the culprit may have been one of these. Deadly hypernovas, frozen comets, scorched planets, white dwarfs, red giants, Earth. 
tiny drops in a vast pool of white light. Our home galaxy, the Milky Way. We want to know where we fit in. Here's our answer. Civilizations past and present. Everyone that's ever lived. The smallest bug, the highest mountain. All of it invisible. Not even a tiny speck. Our home is a minor planet of an insignificant star. If it disappeared right now, who or what would even notice? And yet, so far we found nowhere else we would rather live. Nowhere we could live. It's only now, far from home, that we're beginning to truly appreciate it. Look at all these stars. Hundreds of thousands of them. Surely one of these, more than one, must be capable of supporting life. Maybe here, in this swarm of stars, the Great Cluster. Back in the 1970s, astronomers sent a message in this direction, detailing the structure of our DNA and our solar system's location. But it's so far from home, the message won't arrive for at least another 25,000 years. We haven't found alien life yet. But neither have we found any reason to believe it isn't out here, somewhere. There's an equation, devised to estimate the number of other advanced civilizations. Crunch the numbers, and the result is shocking. There could be millions of civilizations, just in our own galaxy. Everything we have seen so far is inside the Milky Way. Now here's our chance to see other galaxies, to glimpse the even bigger picture, and perhaps to answer the ultimate question, where does all this come from? We are now ready to leave our solar system, our galaxy, and enter intergalactic space. Beyond the Milky Way, through the vast expanse between galaxies, against all the odds, we've made it to intergalactic space. Out here, there's no horizon in sight. Even the closest galaxies are millions of light years away. The remains of galaxies ripped apart by the Milky Way's huge gravitational pull. Scattered through, nothing. This is as close as the universe gets to a perfect vacuum. But even this isn't totally empty. There are thin wisps of gas, fine traces of dust, and something else dark matter. So mysterious we can't see it, 
Feel it, taste it, touch it, or even measure it. Yet so common, it could make up over 90% of all the matter in the universe. If dark matter does exist, it means there's no such thing as empty space. Even out here, we're surrounded by matter. We only know it exists because of the strange hold it exerts on galaxies. Like this one, the Large Magellanic Cloud. More than six billion years in today's fastest spacecraft, 160,000 light years from the Milky Way, at the edge of its gravitational reach. This galaxy should spin off into space. But something is holding it here. Something invisible, powerful, dark matter, stars. <laughs>